Uh, I would love to see. Yes! It is locked in. All right, what does this mean? This is the first time we've seen Kobe running the vein. This split. Self-made Empyrean. They're going to be looking to set a proactive play. visachachi has got Flash available, but not much else. Yeah, and there's no paranoia again. But like you said, Empyrean, he's got everything. Yeah, Empyrean's ultimate was not used. There goes the claw into the ult. Duskbringer comes out. And this should be an easy enough kill. First blood to self-made. Fairly proactive in ganking. We've not seen a whole lot of Zerse yet. There's self-made ganking once again. Remember, cleanse is available, but no flash. That was rinse, repeat text to disrupt and to stall and to track self-made while his laners played safe. All right, death sentence catches on to Dreams. He actually flashes forward. Here comes the paranoia. Dreams forced to run for his life. A lot of burst damage as the hourglass was used. Now self-made stays alive a few seconds longer. Sleepy trouble bubble not going to find its target. That's a one for two. Here comes Humanoid. Cersei's on the board as well. And Splice take control. Just absolutely torn apart from Splice right there. They've got the minion wave behind them and a very low tower. It's a super easy, clean play and a snowball gold advantage. Yeah, really really nicely done the first so look at the long uh, team fights but splice are playing actually very quickly right now we talked about how a lot of their champions <laughs> were oh that's next level macro for splice they will secure the second tower it will be at the cost of the top outer though as Whirlib has been able to push it down he's still zero 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 and the best of one results in the impact and Noskarin Flay will not find its target here comes Zerse Stepping forward to the Dark and Blade, and Kyrian oh, meanwhile, did not follow the claw. Crown shot and Kabe, and Kabe just took the smackdown on Kaisa. One, zero, three, one. These plays already. Uh, they're setting up the momentum to do They've the same. They've got another one. Well, let's find out. Dreams a hook. will get slapped. Death sentence into paddle, and really easily killed as nice. well. In this bottom lane, and the tower will be dropping. Whirlip, though, is on a mission. He's not done yet. It is still only anyone to actually die here, but I do expect Chachi to team fight. Oh, Dreams get stunned. Death sentence chains. Come on, guys. This just looks so painful, but Dreams survives. Dreams stays alive. There's a Chachi. The cast of curse was thrown down. Now Kobe is unlocked, picking a fight with Selfmade. He's got the GA. Dreams oh. goes in with the ult. He gets back up. Dreams, you cheeky bugger. He escapes with his life. That's now a kill back in reply. Dreams goes down as Kobe tumbles and ducks and dies. The death sentence comes will Whirlip. not find a target. And well, it wants to clean this up. But Pyrian might go down. Gets the ultimate. Kobe gets three. He tumbles again. Turns on the Whirlip. Finally goes down. Whirlip picks up the kill with the last rise. He's chasing it in North Scarab. North Scarab needs the balls. Kobe will not find it. Crown shot takes him out. Spread through these structures. And of course, I've not really drawn too much attention to itemization just yet. Two items across the board for most here. Talked about the GA for self made. Luden's Echo and Protobel for Pyrian. Now all of a sudden up in the top lane, Whirlip is just going to get run down as Humanoid so comes. Looking at Humanoid to at least lay down some of the initial poke. All right, Sleepy Trouble Bubble was Kobe's out, walking. manages to catch onto Crown Shot. The Baron's not going down particularly quickly. Kobe will be able to make it in time. Trouble Bubble goes in once again. Paranoid up by some time. Look at Pyrian. He's been zoned out. Humanoid's forced him away. Slicey Mel should into the pit. There's the kill is to the backside. Baron is picked up by SK Gaming, but at what cost? Everybody's going down. Kobe's currently untouched. Humanoid's got the first of the fight. Visit Chachi gets another before he's taken on reply. It's Crown Shot that takes him down. Kobe is going to kill SK. Self-made and Whirlip are running for their lives. Empowered recalls. Here comes Humanoid, but he picks the wrong shot. No, that's that's not the blast cone you wanted. And it is only ooh and ah because Pyrian is going to get absolutely smashed there from the Zoe. Uh, the Chachi ult comes in and it zones it from Splice. And now Whirlip is going to push all the way forward into four members of Splice. Paranoid will buy some time, but Whirlip is dead before anybody else can arrive. Don't there is Butcher and Kobe, QSS and Heal and Flash, and he's running for he's his dead. life. He's dead. It's Crown Shot that picks him up. Thanks to the Killer Instinct without Kobe. Can Chachi turn around? One, two, another. Falling like dominoes. SK, it felt so good, but it ends so bad. Splice take the fight. They expended so much to get into the back line for the fans. Why Zoe is globally so powerful. You see her in the LCK and the LPL all the time. And it's because you can walk. Yeah, it's more important to start the Elder countdown because now that uh, the Cloud Dragon will fall, you have one yes, point. Uh oh, Pyrian. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, Pyrian! Oh, that's not what you want! Oh, oh yes. Oh, here comes North Scare. The box is put down. Willow gets caught out. Trouble Where's bubble the once cannon? again. Onto the main. Uncontested. There's the cannon. Here comes Chachi. He's found Crown Shot. Now Crown Shot escapes. The very cheeky killer instinct and flash. But Dreams, where are you going, buddy? Your team's not there. Dreams gets taken out. Baron secured by Splice. And vision even. control of an area. We talked about the strengths of Zoe in sieging. It's also just control over Fog of War. She is a diagram of murder on top of each other. I really like that. We had Max enter the Thunderdome 
in the end though, Splice, uh, where they've got Baron, they've got the ability to siege. They've taken down six towers already. They come back here is if they get big flanking ultimates on multiple members of Splice. Yeah, let's see what the five man stack in the top lane can do. Just brute forcing their way onto the tower. Pyrian's clenching as he takes a paddle start to the face. The inhibitor falls as well. There's still a minute left on Baron Buff. And just to remind you to play this one out. And now. Their plan has come to fruition. They are fully online. Yeah. Where is the last stand? Well, we're about to find out. There goes the pressure. Cobb is able to escape with his life for now. Turns back around. The GA is pumped. There's a Chachi with a slicing maelstrom. has done so much work. That's one, two, three, four members of SK are down. The ace for Splice. And they're entering the base from SK. Into the meat grinder of Splice's composition. There was nothing SK could front right there. They had to make a go of it. But Splice, welcome to playoffs. Welcome to playoffs. Of Splice, join the fight for second place. Two things. Beginning of this game, I said that Cobb is vain. Was three wins for three games. That is now four wins, four games. Stats never lie. Second thing for you, Frosco. What do you make of Splice's performance in week One, eight two, of taking out G2 and SK? Hmm. I really liked the game plan from in this game, especially in the early game. I think it was a great read on Self Made as a jungle to contest his camps like that. I think it was quite risky to go for a jungler that needs so many resources and then not have the laners to back you up or to protect you getting those resources in SK's sense. I know it seems like such a small, minute point, but again, Xerse uh, was a big factor in that early game in making sure that he 